Hey everyone, it's AJ the Aquarius. Today I'm back with another 10 minute makeup tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to do a cut crease. And I will admit when I first started doing makeup, these were the bane of my existence. I was super afraid. I mean, if someone said do a cut crease to get off of this deserted island, I would be living on that island for the rest of eternity. <laughs> I know it can be intimidating, but I will break it down using only two colors so it's very simple and easy to follow, especially if you're just learning how to do these or if you've never done one before. It's not going to be too complicated and of course it can be done in under 10 minutes. So if you're interested in learning how to do this, please keep watching. The first thing that I'll do is prime my lids and then I'll use a flat brush to buff it out. We have a special guest today. <laughs> Cute, um, but we're gonna have to cover her up. She is not invited. She just crashed my party. Next I'll move on to my foundational shade. It'll be from the Morphe 39A palette. It's a really nice brown with a hint of orange for the undertone. And I'll use a fluffy brush like this and I will always do windshield wiper motions, apply a really light layer and hold from the end. The key to eyeshadow is you want to just keep blending, even if it seems ridiculous, <laughs> just keep blending. Every single time you do, it makes it smoother and smoother and more seamless. As long as you're doing it really light, it won't take off the color and it's exactly what you want. Next I'll add that crease shade and I want it to be a little bit higher than my actual crease because when you cut your crease, you're actually taking out all the eyeshadow or you're covering up all the eyeshadow that's right here. So you want to go a little bit higher when you're doing that second shade because it'll be gone if you cover over it. So you just want a little bit of a ring to be left after you cut your crease. So you would think that I would use a brush shape like this and I could take that pigment and go right into that area, but it will be super harsh. You'll be blending for 20 years. So it's better to just use another fluffy brush shape like that and just go into that shade and do the same thing. Windshield wiper motions, really light and build and that way you have a little bit better control over it. <laughs> I'm not playing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know this. I know how to do this. <laughs> Can't play around with your elbow down here. <laughs> Then I'll go back over it with the last shade I use, the foundational shade, and just do one really quick sweep to make sure it's perfectly blended. And I'll do that sweep really close to the edge of the, the darker brown shade. So there we go. I'll do the second eye off camera and we'll go on to our next step. So I'm back with both eyes done and now we can move on to the part we've all been waiting for, the actual cut crease. And this is the brush that I'll use. It's perfect for this because not only is it thin, it's kind of tapered and it's not too wide. So it'll create a really sharp line. Am I allowed to admit that I'm scared? I would like to say, <laughs> I want to give a speech. <laughs> Although I'm confident, this is not something that I can redo if I mess up. So this is real time. If I mess this up, I'll have to literally start from scratch. There's only so much saving of a cut crease you can do keep going higher and higher and then it's ruined so you basically have to execute this which is why they're so nerve-wracking to me so I'm taking my concealer I put a whole bunch on the end here then I take that brush and I make sure only to take a little and you always start with the least amount of product as you possibly can because it will get out of control and now I will take this brush and I'll go from here all the way across in a moon like shape and the key to this is to do it fast so you would think that you want to carve out really slow like piece by piece but it just makes it really hard it will start getting uneven and you'll start second guessing yourself so I always just take it from the spot I want and I just go for it so here goes nothing <laughs> And as you can see, when I did that, it's really nice 
and pigmented right here at the front and then it tapers off to where it's not that sharp. So I'm, this is where I'm going to concentrate the rest of this is making sure that end is very defined. Now I can fill in the lid with concealer and I want to move quick because this is drying and it's not going to stick if it's completely dry. So I'm taking an eyeshadow brush like this and I'm taking my concealer, put it on the end again and this time just wipe it on the eyeshadow brush and this obviously you can go a little crazy with. So just fill that in like that. I want the shadow that I use for the crease to be pretty obvious, so I always just go for gold as a default. So I'm going to a shimmery gold with an eyeshadow brush, and then I'll just pat that on top. Now this is important. Usually when you're doing your makeup, you can just go ahead and drag a little bit and be really quick with it, but with cut creases, you need enough product to cover up the concealer. As I get to the crease, I'll be a little bit more careful. So now I go back with a brush like this. It's kind of tapered, it's really weird shaped, and I'm going to use the little point part. And I'll go back to that brown, that dark brown shadow that I use as my second shade, and I'll correct it, but it's almost like spot correcting. So I want to go really slowly and only fill in the parts that I need. Basically, you keep going back over it until that line is really straight and crisp and it doesn't matter how many times you have to go over it just as long as it's straight. And also, don't worry about how far you go out. I always extend everything out because when we clean it up, I'll take this whole side off. So all that will remain is the precision right there in the corner. I'll do the rest of my face off camera and I'll return with eyelashes on and then we can do the liner and mascara together and I'll show you the final look. Okay, so I cheated. I put on everything off camera. <laughs> Please forgive me, but this is it. <laughs> So thank you to all my new encouraged subscribers. I will be back next week, Friday, November 6th with my chit chat, get ready with me. And I will let you guys know how I ended up in this ankle brace. It's a good one. <laughs> and until next time, it's Age of the Aquarius. Bye.